on Lake Winnipesaukee in the old Granite State, a.k.a. New Hampshire. And uh, we are here at a white perch spot, and we're going to try to get ourselves some New Hampshire white perch, really good eating fish. But as you can see behind me, the sun's coming up. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a great day. Hopefully we can catch some uh, white perch, so let's get right into the action. All righty, folks. So we got the jaw jacker set up. It's over there behind the snow machine. Or not the snow machine, the four we over there. But Dad's marking hard. He's a top line. There's a fish on the bottom. So, got the transducer going. He's marking. There he is. Christopher's over there jigging. But usually where the white perch are, you can also find a lake or so. I don't know if that's a lake trout, but it's probably a whitey. But, oh, the dog's barking again. But there we go. We're all set up. Hopefully the jaw jacker will go off or something. Hopefully we'll just catch a whitey. Alrighty guys, the transducer is full of them. So the dad's jig is the top line. All of them under that is a fish. So there's a lot down there right now. Hopefully we can get one of them. Alrighty, so we had a couple active fish. We've seen a couple come up to our jig on the transducer. We've been moving holes though because the best thing to do with white perch is to um, move holes because they move around these these bowls um they just swim around them in circles basically so we've been moving holes trying to find them but they're definitely active it's i've got a couple bites it's just they ain't fully committed or right, we aren't getting the hook sets really but i think we're gonna move to another bowl that we want to try to hopefully try to catch them so stay tuned Alrighty, folks so we made it to the next spot the other spot was okay. We were seeing fish, just they weren't aggressive, they weren't biting. So maybe another day they will be biting for us. But we're at the next spot. We're gonna start drilling holes and maybe catch some at this one. Alrighty, jaw jacker went off. It's gone off. This is the second time. We had a monster on, but drag, drag might be a little bit. Here we go. He's fighting a little bit. Could be a Laker. I don't really know yet. Move the jack out of the way. Keep your rod good high. Get back up. I don't know where he is. Whoa, big smallmouth. Holy crap. Whoa! Look at the size of that smallmouth bass, guys. That is a monster. He has little splotch marks. That normally means that they've been sitting in the mud because they're too cold. But that is a beautiful smallmouth bass. That is a big one. That is beautiful. We're going to get the hook out if we can. Oh, no, we're going to need pliers for this guy. He swallowed it. Alrighty guys, that is a big bass. Look at the belly on him. Nice small mouth. Like I said before, the splotch marks are from him laying in the dirt, in the mud, trying to stay warm. But we're gonna let this guy go. Come on, mud. Oh, there it goes, back down to the depths. We're back in the shack, and we got the camera going, and there's little bugs again. They're right there. But we just had the a sweet thing happened. So we threw a dead uh, sucker carcass out there. And right away, the, a, an adult bald eagle with all his white, so pretty, swooped down and grabbed it with his big, big feet, his big claws. But hopefully at some point I'll be able to film that. It just, I was caught in the moment and it was so awesome. But we'll get a video of it at some point. But we're in here jigging, so maybe we'll see something on the screen. We got a fish on the screen right now. Oh, Dad's on him. Here we go, first fish in the bob house this year. Still got him? Here we go, in the shack, first one. 
Oh, that's a pretty nice one. Oh, oh we lost him right at the hole. <laughs> it was a close one, but he was on there. Quick release. Jared's here, and Jared just missed this one. And Christopher has a nice one on. And he's in. We got one. Number two on the day. He kind of hooked me, but he's making his weird noises. Oh, Jared just missed this one, and he came back for more. Very aggressive. Christopher. Oh, don't. It's a mess in here right now. Somebody get my phone. There we go. Christopher, show the people. Yeah. A nice Laker. Second one Got in the Bob phone. house. He's the a mess in here right now, but there's a pretty good look. And there he goes. Oh, not yet. There he goes. Second Laker in the Bob house. Good job, Chrissy. Came darting past the oh. screen. Oh, he came off. But he literally, he literally went zoom. He went right past the screen and grabbed Jared. I had him almost up here. Oh my gosh, they are feisty today. Alrighty, guys. So the action has slowed down a little bit. So far today, we've caught two in the Bob House. One dad lost, but we still counted it. And then Christopher caught the other one, as you saw. And the one that Chris actually caught, Jared lost that one, and then it came back down. And then Jared also missed another one. And I tell you what, the thing, the one that Jared lost literally was, like, back here, and it was like a bullet, and it came shooting into the screen to hit his jig. So it's been a pretty successful day, a large enough pass, two, um, two trout lakers. As you can see, we finally added to the 2021 board. We added Dad's late shot on there just because we did basically, uh, we basically caught it. He was right up here at the hole, as you could see. But we finally added two. I love this this spot. It's such a great spot, and so far it's been working awesome for us. So we're just gonna keep fishing. Boys are out, um, setting some tip up. So. Maybe those will go off, but so far it's been a great day, so stay tuned. Another one. Jared missed it. The way you feel it. I used to get camera shot. You jump the gun. Oh, he was just biting you. Oh, you can see his fins. Oh, he's going for Chris. Nope. He didn't like that. Oh, he's turning. Uh -huh. See? I know yeah. We'll get back if we end up catching them folks. Alrighty guys, so that um that lake trail never came back, but we are back out here for the evening bite of these white parts. Hopefully we can get one. We did not get one this morning, so hopefully we can get one today. But um, I forgot my hat at the shack, so I'm just wearing my full face mask, my ski mask. But hopefully we can get ourselves one. Hey guys, so we're back at the shack here. White partition did not go to plan. They just weren't biting today. Um, normally we're pretty good at it, but, you know, they just weren't biting. And it was cold out there, you know. It's hard to go out in the cold, white perch fishing, when you know that you have a nice, warm shack with the underwater camera going, and you're catching fish in here. So we just came back, but sun's starting to go down, as you can probably see. But we're going to continue for a little bit. The camera is still pretty good. It just starting to get a little bit black and white, you know, normal when the sun goes down. But, yeah, we're... Hopefully you might catch one more, maybe a cusk tonight on the router reel, but yeah. Well guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss another video. The screen is getting black, as you can see behind me, so it's definitely getting darker here. It's sunset right now. Look at the beautiful colors out there. But if we do catch one on a router reel tonight, it'll probably be in tomorrow's episode. So make sure you watch that. But we're going to start getting some dinner ready. But I think that's 
the video for now. But thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.